Hello, hi. I am Dr. Balakrishna K, working as an assistant professor in Department of Electronics and Communication at Maharaja Institute of Technology, Mysore. We are in the model that is discussing about the optical networks. In our previous class, we were discussing about the how the evolution has been done with respect to optical fiber. For that, we, we have taken the example like that is first generation, second generation, third generation and right now we are in the fourth and the fifth generation of the technology but with respect to optical fiber, with respect to syllabus, we are restricting with respect to third generation that is a 3G and after the evolution of the optical fiber, we were discussing about the optical network structure, how the structures will be done and how the light path we will be knowing that is how the light rays here the information will be transmitting in the terms of a light where that light will be traveling from one node to another node and how it will be identified with respect to another node. So we were discussing about the structures here how the light path will be tracing to reach the specific destination and after that we were discussing about the different network topologies. So what are the different network topologies, we were discussing about the bus structures and also with respect to the mesh technologies and also with respect to the hybrid and star and ring, these are all the different network topologies we were discussing about the optical fiber and we know what are all the advantages and what are all the disadvantages with respect to, with respect to the specific network topologies. In today's class, we were moving with respect to optical network node and switching elements. So why we are using the switching elements because we know that is the term switching. Switching is nothing but we will be changing its states from one state to another state. Normally if you consider a switch, you will be having a light switches, fan switches and all. How, how you will be using that switches? You will be using it to turn on and turn on. It will be changing its states from on state to off state and off state to on state. So, for this we will be calling it as a switching. Here we will be, we will be using the switching elements for the network that is optical network. We will be using some switching elements. That switching elements are mean to make a connectivity with respect to how your light rays need to be passed with respect to that particular path. So, our main agenda is to move your information from a source to destination with respect to a specific path. For that we will be using a switching element. Saying if you consider with respect to optical network node, node is nothing but you will be having a multiple node with respect to this communication. So your, your information will be that information can be of anything normally with respect to optical fiber we will be specifically using a light here as a information that has to be passing from one node to another. So, in this particular thing, your main intention is to send the signal and receive the signals. Whether it can be of any type of a signals, you have to send the signals and you need to receive that signal. So, your complete operation has been completed. When the signals are not sent from the source side, what you will be doing? You have to go with respect to resending option. So, you will be going with respect to multiple sending option. So, what happens here? Once it will try to reach the particular destination, if it is not reached at that particular destination, again it will be take its action and the loop will be repeated that will be considered as an resend. So finally our main intention is to receive that signal at the destination. For this particular thing we will be going with respect to different types of an optical network node where we are using with respect to switching elements. Based on that, I will be discussing about the five things with respect to this topic. The first one will be considered as an wavelength multiplexing. Wavelength multi multiplexer. See, we know what is multiplexer. If you consider a multiplexer, normally you will be having a one input and you will be expecting more than one output at that particular output side. That will be considered as a multiplexer here. So, 
wavelength here we are using the information that will be transmitting in terms of a wavelength normally if you consider a wavelength multiplexer i will be writing a diagram here this will be the symbol of a multiplexer i'll be taking it as a symbol where you will be applying some input i assume this multiplexer will be having one into two that is one input and specifically i will be having a two output at the output end here so if you consider with respect to these conditions i will be using a port this will be considered as in the connectivity point will be considered as a port here so this will be considered as a port 1 and this will be considered as a port 2 and this will be considered as a port 3 see here the port 1 will be connected with respect to an input side where the input should be specifically it should be an wavelength so i should represent the wavelength in terms of a lambda so here i need to get the output with respect to wavelength multiplexer in terms of a two output so here again i need to use an two wavelength with respect to this particular multiplexer that means i will be using the two input signals that is lambda 1 and a lambda 2 that both are given with respect to the port 1 where based on the multiplexer they are splitting with respect to two wavelength where with respect to port 2 and port 3 port 2 will be getting a wavelength 1 and port 3 will be getting a wavelength 2 so this is how the wavelength multiplexer will be working here and similarly if you consider the another thing the second one this will be the wavelength multiplexer the second one will be considered as an wavelength demultiplexer see wavelength demultiplexer it is the oppo opposite with respect to the operation when we consider with respect to multiplexer that means if you consider with respect to demultiplexer we will be having an multiple inputs and we are getting a single output at the output so that will be considered as a demultiplexer so here also i will be using an wavelength so that particular wavelength will be having an multiple input let's consider it as an 2 cross 1 demultiplexer that means i will be feeding a 2 input with respect to this demultiplexer and i will be getting a single output at the output so again i'll be taking this as an that is wavelength this will be considered as an wavelength one and this will be considered as an wavelength two and i am supposed to use a port number let's consider it as a port one this will be the port two and this will be the port three here so this will be the symbol with respect to demultiplexer see here the wavelength one will be given with respect to port 1 as an input and wavelength 2 will be given as a given with respect to the port 2 as an input and we are getting a output at the port 3 where that output will be considered as an lambda 1 and a lambda 2. So this is the operation with respect to the wavelength demultiplexer. Here the multiplexer will be act like a splitting but with respect to demultiplexer it will be acting like a combining the signals here the lambda 1 and lambda 2 are nothing but a different signals with, with, with respect to considering a different wavelengths the wavelength are different with respect to signals here to bifurcate that wavelength depending upon the wavelength, wavelength the information has are given with respect to different wavelengths here and again the third one see if you consider with respect to the third one i will be using an optical add or drop multiplexer add or drop multiplexer see here if you consider with respect to the optical add or drop multiplexer he, to make the connectivity with respect to the op optical add or drop multiplexer i will be using both the multiplexer as well as demultiplexer in this particular connection see here if you consider the connections, the connections will be like this. I will be using both the term. The first one will be with respect to 
marks this will be considered as an marks and i will be connecting another d marks this will be considered as an d marks and i will be having an input and i will be having an output but this particular symbol should consisting of an add or drop here so how the add or drop will be working here means if you consider this particular multiplexer i'll be giving an input where this input will be having an multiple number of signals that means it will be consisting of an n number of wavelengths which varying the frequency level in this conditions see when i am giving a n number of wavelength that is different wavelength with respect to the multiplexer i can drop the particular signal here so for this i will be calling it as an i will be dropping the signals so for the example let's consider three signals that is lambda 1 lambda 2 and lambda 3 if you consider n number of signals it will be very hard for us to for us to find the how the operations will be done with respect to the signals let's for, for the example let's consider we will be having a three signals that signals are are lambda 1 lambda 2 and lambda 3 and out of these three signals i need to drop one signal whatever i will be having i need to drop in that particular only so i will be having lambda 1 lambda 2 and lambda 3 out of this three wavelength i will be dropping one wavelength let's drop lambda 2 from this particular signal so if i am drop the lambda 2 i will be remaining the signal that is lambda 1 and lambda 3 so that will be forwarded with respect to the d multiplexer again if you consider with respect to the d multiplexer i need to add an one signals here i will be adding in one signals that signals will be considered as an lambda here 1 2 3 the next will be the lambda 4 so at this particular stage i will be getting a two signals that is lambda 1 and lambda 3 because i have dropped the lambda 2 signals here so lambda 1 and lambda 3 are combined that is i will be adding a lambda 4 in this particular demultiplexer so based on this particular thing i will be getting a signals that will be considered as an lambda 1 lambda 3 and lambda 4 because the lambda 1 and lambda 3 are gathered with respect to the input signal where the lambda 4 is added at the d multiplexer and this lambda 2 has been dropped at the multiplexer this will be considered as an optical add or drop multiplexer and the fourth one will be considered as an 2 cross 2 optical switch the next one will be considered as an 2 cross 2 optical switch the 2 cross 2 optical switch will be considered with respect to symbol here the name only specifying that is 2 cross 2 that means it should have a two inputs and it supposed to have a two output so it is nothing but it will be simply looking like a n cross n so why we need to use this particular optical switch means if you consider this particular optical switch you will be having a n number of connectivity that means the connections can be improved if you are going to use an that is 2 cross 2 optical switch not only with respect to 2 cross 2 optical switch if you are moving higher number of that is that is here the n number has been increased means automatically the connectivity of this particular circuit will be also improved here so if you consider with respect to this conditions i'll be calling it as an 2 cross 2 optical switch because i will be having a two ports at the input that will be 1 and 2 these are the input ports and again i will be having another two ports at the output this will be considered as a port 3 and port 4 here see here i'll be using a four ports that is 1 2 3 and 4 the port 1 and 2 are used as an input port with respect to the optical switch where the port 3 and 4 are used as an output port at the optical switch for the optical switch here see if you consider with respect to the optical switch for this port 1 i will be giving an lambda 1 and lambda 2 as an input and similarly if you consider with respect to the port 2 i will be giving an lambda 3 and lambda 4 at the output 
so what you are expecting at the output here the lambda 1 lambda 2, 2 are the input at the port 1 lambda 3 and lambda 4 are the input at the port 2 similarly you should gather the same thing at the output here but based on this multiplicative that is 2 cross 2 here the multiplicative will be happened with respect to one port to another port so port 1 will be gathering a signal that will be considered as a lambda 1 and lambda 3 again the port 4 will be gathering a signals that will be considered as an lambda 2 and lambda 4 so based on this optical switch there will be an cross connections with respect to one port to another port so this will be the advantages when you are using a n cross n optical switch for your applications and the fifth one this is the last one with respect to the optical network node and the switching element the fifth one will be considered as an reconfigurable reconfigurable optical add or drop multiplexer optical add or drop multiplexer see your name only specifying reconfigurable optical add or drop multiplexer this means you, you are in this particular section you will be using both optical switch as well as optical add or drop multiplexer it is the combination of these two particular that is optical switch and a adder drop multiplexer here. See if you consider with respect to this figure I will be using as same thing as with respect to opt optical adder drop multiplexer that is in the first stage I will be using an max here that is multiplexer but in between I will be using the optical switch in between here again I will be using an demultiplexer so here I will be gathering input and I will be gathering output at this particular point but here I should have an drop here so the drop will be considered as n the drop can be with respect to n number of things drop the channel I will be calling it as a drop channel because it is not with respect to you will be dropping the single wavelength because it will be consisting of a channel similarly you will be using an add channel this will be considered as an add channel and the connectivity will be as like as this with respect to optical adder drop multiplexer this will be considered as an max and this will be considered as an d max and you will be giving input that input can be with respect to n number of wavelength and similarly you will look the, the output will be also with respect to n number of wavelength depending upon the signal that is what signals you are dropping and what signals you are adding with respect to this particular optical multiplexer so this is with respect to the optical network node and a switching element these are all the five different types next one is optical cross connect optical cross connect so if you consider with respect to the optical cross connect how we are going to connect with respect to one connectivity to another connectivity that is source to destination with respect to a common platform for this connectivity we will be using an both the demultiplexer as well as a multiplexer first we will be starting with respect to an demultiplexer see here the demultiplexers will be consisting of an as we know it will be consisting of an many inputs let us consider it as an it will be consisting of an wavelength 1 it will be the wavelength 2 and it will be the n number of wavelength as an input where in between I will be using an cross connect this will be considered as an optical cross connect so the optical cross connect will be written as 
O X and this will be considered as an T max and this optical cross connect will be consisting for the communication, the communication protocol it will be consisting of an sonet that is synchronous optical network or synchronous digital hierarchy that is SDH and also it will be consisting of an protocol that is IP and also with respect to ATM. So, these are all the connectivity that will be consisting with respect to optical cross connect here, cross connect. So, again at the output we are using an multiplexer. So, this will be considered as an max where the multiplexer will be consisting of an n number of outputs that will be 1, 2 up to n number. So, this is the working with respect to how the optical cross connect will be working and similarly if you consider the next one that is how the wavelength will be assigned with respect to one network to another network. For that let us consider a wavelength that is wavelength division multiplexing network for this we can also call it as an WDMN WDMN that will be considered as an wavelength division multiplexing network. See in this conditions we will be consisting of an n number of input that input will be considered as an transmitter let us for the example let us take an 4 transmitter and you will be assigning with respect to n number of receiver because here we have taken the 4 transmitter for that purpose we need to take the 4 receiver at the output. Where this wavelength division multiplexing network will be also called as a broad cost select network broadcast select network because here the particular transmission here the, the if you are transmitting the particular signal it can go with respect to any particular of this particular destination based on the assigned path if you are assigning this first signal has to be reached at the third receiver depending upon the assigned path it will be reaching the particular path and similarly to make a connectivity with respect to these conditions we are using an common thing so that will be considered as an here the common thing is nothing but this common thing will be considered as an star network a star topology here this network will be work based on the star net network topology we know how the star, net, star network will be working with respect to the connectivity. If any one of this particular node will be failed also, it will never affect the whatever the node present or connected with respect to this particular network. That is the advantages when you are going, when you are choosing with respect to star network topology. And similarly here also the connectivity will be done like this. So, this will be considered as an wavelength division multiplexing network or a broadcast select network. And the last one is how you are going to assign the wavelength. So, that will be considered as an wavelength routing. Wavelength routing. See, to explain this wavelength routing, I will be selecting one, sig one signal here that will be consisting of an n number of nodes. Let us consider this will be considered as an A, this will be the one node, I will be assigning another node here, this will be considered as an B and let us consider it as an C and here it will be D and this will be considered as an E. So, here to explain the wavelength routing, I will be, I have taken the 5 nodes here, that is A, B, C, D and E are the nodes here 
I will be making a physical connection. So here, I will be taking it as in the physical connections will be assigned with respect to each of the node here. So if you consider with respect to A to B, the both way it can communicate. That is A can communicate with B and also B can communicate with A here. And similarly, B to C and C to D, you will be having a bidirectional connectivity and D to E and E to J and finally E to B. So I will be making this connectivity, there will be no direct connectivity with respect to E to C here. So this will be the physical connection. So if you want to make how the wavelength will be assigned with respect to this connectivity, let us take the disk how the wavelength will be assigned. See, if you consider how the wavelength will be assigned means, I will be taking this another, the same figure will be written here to explain the, okay, let us write here only. This is the B, I will be taking it as a B, that is wavelength assignment. Wavelength assignment, I will be writing with respect to wavelength assignment using the different color chalk disk. For the same network, I will be assigning the wavelength by using the different color chalk. See, if you consider with respect to this figure here, I will be assigning the wavelength, this will be considered as an lambda 1 and this will be considered as an lambda 1. Again, I will be assigning this, this will be considered as an lambda 2 and this will be the lambda 3. Again, this will be considered as an lambda 2. Again, it will be considered as an lambda 2. See here, if you consider with respect to this connectivity, I have assigned the wavelength with respect to this particular physical connection. So, you can make a connectivity or you can assign by your own choice depending upon the application. For this particular thing, I have assigned the wavelength with respect to this connectivity. So, similarly, finally, if you want to trace out the virtual topology, if you want to see the virtual topology, so with respect to this figure, you will be having, this will be the A and it will be considered as an B and this will be the C and it will be the D and here we somewhere you will be getting a E. See the connectivity will be like this here, you will be assigning the signal, this will be considered as a lambda 1 and again from here to here you will be having a signal that will be considered as a lambda 2. So again, again somewhere else you will be having connectivity this will be considered as a lambda 2 again this will be considered as a lambda 3 and this will be considered as a lambda 1 again somewhere else it will be considered as a lambda 2 here. So this is how the virtual topology will be looking like this where if you want to specify this particular maze we can also write this figure like this here this can be written like this or here also we can write like this that is this will be the lambda 2. Similarly, if you are specifying it as in lambda 2 that is A to E. So, A to E means again we can specify sorry it is not from A it is B to B to E. So, again we can specify that is we will be using another signal let us consider it as in lambda 1. So, again you can use the signal it as in lambda 1. So, this is how the virtual topology will be looking with respect to the wavelength plot. Thank you.